Hi, this is Steve Erdman with the AFG Group and IFG Company. We're going to do some technical work today. I put together four different charts and four different time elements within those charts to show you kind of what I look at in terms of my methodology and my madness. We're going to start with a monthly chart of the live cattle futures. This monthly chart shows you that back uh, beginning with this uptrend in December of 2009, there's one obvious theme. The market's in a dynamic uptrend, and we've been in a dynamic uptrend for the last five plus years. Uh, the low was made at 78.70 in uh, December of 2009, and this, in this October of 2014, cattle made their contract high to this point of uh, just over 172. Um, you can see the channel lines, you can see the support coming in uh, initially on one of the channel lines at 145. If we take that support out, 135 becomes the next support level of this monthly chart. Each line on this chart represents a month's high, low, and close. You can also see resistance lines and I've kind of drawn in a neckline at that 159.90 area up to another potential neckline of 165. So it kind of gives you a big picture objective of what the cattle market might be capable of doing based upon this monthly live cattle chart. We're going to go next to a weekly chart. So every bar on this chart is the weekly cattle high, low, and close uh, of this live cattle contract. It's, it's obviously a different picture. This chart goes also back to 2009 but it shows you the respect the trend lines have uh, maintained over time. We had a, a pretty decent trend line going from the beginning of 2010 into uh, the beginning of 2013. The market had a correction in that first quarter of 2013 into the middle of uh, September, basically, or it looks like uh, August. but. I want you also to note from this that the market, and when it goes into a parabolic stage, or in other words, the angle of ascent becomes so steep that the market has a difficult time maintaining that angle, then we see the, the market ripe for the kind of corrections that we saw between um, the beginning of 2013 and the middle of 2013. We've gone through that same type of parabolic nature uh, here recently from May of 2014 into the end of the year uh, when we made our contract highs. Um, I also want you to note on this, in 2010 we had an 18 percent correction from $122.87 to $100.75. 18 percent of this $172 high that we just made would suggest a drop to $141. Um, in my opinion, that would be deeper than I'd like to see the market go right now. Um, as you see from the trend lines that I also uh, put in here, the 146.50 area is becoming a pretty significant point. This was the low that we made um, three weeks ago. And if that low is violated at this point, I think it's, it's really suggesting that the market has indeed made a longer term top and that points to significantly lower prices. I'd also like to note uh, on this weekly chart that a Friday close of 164.30 would be needed to turn the market back into an uptrend. Uh, that's based upon some of Lee's work that he does every week. We're next going to go to a February daily chart. Every bar on this daily chart represents a day's high, low, and close. Uh, there's a couple of things that I've detailed on here that I think bear watching. Uh, the first thing to look at is the length of the legs, and I've drawn some, some um, heavier bars to show you that the market rallied in August from the low of around 148.65 to the high made in September of 162.15 thereabouts. Um, my expectation is for the market to do something similar right now. We made uh, our low back in January, in late January, in February contract, and it's, it should respect one of those highs made from uh, today. We made a double high, I think, at around 159.40. A 
So my objective right now in the Feb contract would be something between this 159.40 today and yesterday's high to possibly something up to 162.15. Feb cattle are going to be very sensitive to the cash market right now because we are into delivery and uh, cash cattle prices are going to have an impact. Uh, cash, higher cash prices. We traded 162 in Kansas last week. That's going to pull uh, Feb futures prices higher because the uh, producer and the packer have the ability to make delivery on the futures contract. The last chart I want you to look at is this April cattle chart. That will be the next uh, month in the live cattle futures. April cattle, as you see, uh, de I've denoted on this April cattle chart, there's an island that we made, a kind of island bottom. Uh, islands are typically pretty powerful and uh, the early July high of 157.27 to the late July high of 158.85 should be viable targets for this April cattle chart. Um, again, I think this April cattle chart and where we've drawn a uh, support line shows you that 146.50 is becoming a big point. 146.50 or a close below that would denote a failure in my estimation and this would suggest prices could drop significantly maybe $25 a contract to that 120 or 121 area. The reason I, I share these different time elements with you is to show you the big picture down narrowed down to a daily uh, observation of the cattle futures prices. I hope this helps you uh, make your trading decisions on the cattle futures market.